Knowing that I was carrying three babies was exciting. The boys were probably gonna be earlier than we would want them to be. So we knew that we were gonna need an environment that had people that we could establish a relationship with. We had heard that Little Company of Mary offered that. It really felt like my babies were cared for. My vision for Providence Little Company of Mary Women and Children's Services is to provide state-of-the-art, family-focused care. We are all about the family. We want to make sure that our families can come here and know that they can receive care from birth to death along the continuum. Some of those events are joyous, like the birth of a new child, and some of them can be very tension-producing, like having a baby in the NICU or having a high-risk mother going through a pregnancy. We want to be there for all of that. Our neonatal intensive care unit is one of the first private room, single patient family rooms in the South Bay and it allows the parents to be in that serene, healing, calming environment with their babies. The studies show that the kids grow faster, they go home faster, and they can have their own environment which helps facilitate that. If they had to be in an NICU, this was definitely the most wonderful place they could have ever been. My daughter was born at Providence Little Company. And then again, it's where I received my care um, in 2014 when I was um, diagnosed with a triple negative breast cancer. My oncologist recommended that I receive some genetic testing due to the fact that I was so young at the time of my diagnosis. I was found to be um, BRCA1 positive. You have that high possibility of developing ovarian cancer. When I had my ovaries removed just in July and I went to my post-op, I was given the information that they found a cancer in one of my ovaries. Without the genetic testing, I would not have known that I was BRCA1 positive. I'm also a nurse, and I know as I walk through the departments that serve the Women and Children's Services, that they are deeply connected, being proud clinicians to serve the community and to serve patients in their greatest need, irregardless of economic or social circumstances. I do encourage my friends and neighbors to seek care at Little Company of Mary because I think there's an extra component here that goes along with the mission of compassionate care that it's rare to find. The care that we received in NICU after Kaylin was born was phenomenal, but it was the stuff leading up to that that was really important. Um, even though I wasn't feeling very well, I really felt like they cared. The time that you have in the NICU is scary, and I remember coming in for the first time, and was, the babies are so small, but they just kind of, you know, hold your hand and let you know that it's gonna be okay. At the heart of what every nurse does, it's really to be able to see that person and know that you've made a difference in their life. We have donors that are just as engaged as when the sisters first arrived here and were dependent on the goodwill of the community to begin building this hospital. Our donors and our community are absolutely critical to the Women and Children's Program. In lieu of doing birthday presents from her little friends that would come to a party, we would ask for donations to the hospital. And every single year, she continues to want to do that. She likes giving back to the hospital she came from. Part of being a not-for-profit facility is that we take a lot of our profit and turn it back into our community. So we really need what the community gives back to us for those who are able to give in order to continue our mission. We have to keep up with all the great technology that's being developed. Each dollar would go to saving more and more children's lives. If I had a friend who was, and I hope I have many, who are willing to make a donation, I would encourage them to come take a tour, take a look and see what wonderful things we offer women and children. Every single person feels the mission cares about the patient, the whole family, the whole person. I think we'd probably just show them our three boys. And, <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> you know, having them home and healthy and growing. 
that's worth the gift in and of itself. If we as clinicians and we as caregivers can provide a compassionate experience and balance that with state-of-the-art technology and best practice advances, it is the full package.